Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are on page 155 of your student journal, page 155. And our objective today is today I will use the counting on strategy to find the sum. So we're still going to be using addition because remember sum is our answer to an addition problem. But our strategy or our tool today is going to be something called counting on strategy. So our tool that we used in the last two lessons was the number line. Now we're going to have a new strategy. So let's look at our vocabulary. Okay, our vocabulary is, they're reminding us what our add-ins are. Our add-ins are the numbers that we add and our sum is our answer. And then it says, what does count on mean? It means start with the greater addend and count up the value of the smaller addend. So if I want to do 11 plus two, I start with 11 and I count up two more. So 11, and then if I count up one more, I get 12, and I could count up two more, I get 13. That's called the count on strategy. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Okay, we've already talked about this property called the commutative property. And remember it says add-ins can be added in any order and the sum will remain the same. So our example in the last two lessons was we said one plus two equals three, but we can switch the order of our add-ins and we can say two plus one also equals three. That's what the commutative property says, is you can change the order of your add-ins. Okay, and their example is nine plus three equals 12, and then they changed the order of the add-ins and said three plus nine equals 12. Okay, this is gonna be a big part that we're gonna talk about today. This thing called a number bond. A number bond has the whole number up top and then the bottom, it has the two parts. So the two parts make up the whole. So the two parts go together and they create the whole. So a number bond for our example that we wrote is I could say three would be my whole. And what were my two add-ins? Two and one. So two plus one equals three. That's what a number bond is. So two and one equal three, 11 plus two equals 13. So in a number bond, the whole number's at top or the sum, and these are our add-ins or our parts. Okay, so boys and girls, we're going to get started. I'm gonna show you what this looks like, okay? So I'm gonna pick up my red pen if you wanna set down your pencil. Here's my first problem. It says six plus two. So my directions say identify and circle the greater addend, count on to find the sum. So identify and circle the greater addend. So they want me to first circle the greater addend. So what's greater, six or two? Six is greater. Then they want me to do my strategy, which is called count on. So if I start at six, if I start at six, boys and girls, and I count on two more, what comes next? Six, seven, eight. Eight is my answer. Now, I'm also going to show you this with a number bond, okay? So here is my whole number. And I know I started with a six. I started with a six. And they want me to count on two more. They want me to add two more. So if I have six and I go six, seven, eight. Eight is my answer. So I started with six and then I counted on two more. So six, seven, eight. And that's my whole or my sum. Okay, I'm gonna show you another one of these. Okay, so here's my next one. And I'm going to start by circling my greater addend. So my greatest one is 11. 
My two add-ins are 1 and 11. So I'm going to show you the number bond for this. So remember the sum goes here. I don't know what my sum or my answer is yet, but I know my first add-in is 11, and they want me just to add one more. So I'm gonna count on. So 11, 12. So my answer or my whole number is a 12. My whole number is a 12. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do some of these together. We are on page 156. If you could join me on page 156. Okay, our equation says 10 plus 2 equals. So we're going to start by circling our greater addend. So what should we circle, the 10 or the 2? Which one's greater? The 10 is greater. So our first part or our first addend is 10. So let's put a 10 there. Okay, and they want us to add two to it. So they want us to add two. So let's do two dots in that box. Okay, so now we're gonna count on. We're gonna start at 10 and we're gonna keep counting. So 10, 11, 12. And our answer is 12, because our whole or our sum goes up there. Okay, so that's what counting on is. We start with the largest add-in and then we keep counting. So 10, 11, 12. Okay, let's look at our next one. This time our equation says one plus eight. So we're gonna first circle our largest add-in or our greater add-in, so one or eight. Which one's greater? Eight. And that's going to be our first part. Then we're going to put our second add in here. So how many dots should we draw? One. Okay, so for our count on strategy, we start at eight and then we keep counting. So eight, nine, that's it. I only had one more to count. So our whole or our sum is nine. Our answer is nine. Okay, so friends, you're going to be doing this on your own, so make sure you use this as your example. Have a great day, bye.